Um, I wanted just to start off by finding out how you and your team much and your industries are doing during this particular COVID season. Yeah, no, look, uh, I, mean, it's, I think it's a dynamic situation for every business, uh, for every uh, business leader, for every executive. I mean, we are obviously taking in all the measures to make sure that our employees are safe. We also know that we have very important part to play as the, a company, you know, through our products uh, in this period. I mean, we manufacture, you know, very essential hygiene items such as toilet tissue and sanitizer, liquid hand wash, medical bedspreads, disinfectants. So we've got uh, a big responsibility. I think my, you know, my team understands that. They appreciate that. They have been saying, look, let's do whatever we can, you know, to save, let's do whatever we can to serve the country at large. How is it? How, how are the operations like Kachidari Industries right now? Are you still producing as normal? Have you literally changed the dynamics within the business? What exactly is it like? No, I mean, uh, business has really slowed down. Um, we are feeling it uh, very much. So, you know, I would say we are probably at about um, 35, 40 percent of no normal business at the moment. Um, you know, things have slowed down. Um, it's very interesting. You know, I mean, obviously, we don't expect the restaurants, the beverage sector, to be doing very well at this stage uh, because, unfortunately, they're only limited to deliveries and uh, you know for a certain number of hours a day but you'll be surprised even the retail segment has slowed down even the wholesale segment has slowed down so we are feeling the slowdown the government has been requesting the man persons in the manufacturing industry to manufacture more product about in this particular pandemic has it shaped out at gender industries you know we took advantage for example of the vat change to drop our prices you know slightly more than just the two percent uh, differential you know when the vat went from 16 percent 14 percent at that point in time as we were adjusting our recommended uh, retail prices we also you know, adjusted them down more than the two percent but also i think you know just giving out for example 20 you know percent more toilet tissue free giving out 10 to 20 percent more serviettes free trying to basically you know source you know our raw materials for products like sanitizer and liquid hand wash in the most effective way to make sure that we are getting you know a product to the market at the most you know competitive price point has also been something that's been on top of our agenda. But we will continue to do that. I think, you know, in the coming week, you will also see on, on, on key products such as, you know, toilet tissue, sanitizers, you'll see us giving more value, you know, to the consumer um, in terms of, you know, sort of innovation and just to say, look, you know, we understand that everybody's hurting and, you know, here's our contribution. So you'll see us bring a lot more uh, bigger value uh, value for the, for the, for the, for the consumers. Um, you've been at the helm of Tandaria Industries from 2015. Is it the hardest period you've experienced at the helm of Tandaria Industries? It, nothing is uh, you know, within your control. Unfortunately, it's not even a national, a regional or continental issue. It is a global issue. It's a global crisis. It's a, you know, it's a global pandemic. It's been, it's been the hardest period I've seen without a doubt. What is the role of a leader and a CEO? I think it's all important to pause for a minute and talk about this. Right. It's not just driving financial results for your shareholders. It is making sure that all the stakeholders who are involved in your business grow with you. Yeah. Now, what do I mean? Your customers must grow with you. Your employees must grow with you. Your suppliers must grow with you. You want to run a business that sustainably has an impact on the stakeholders, on the economy and the country. So today, apart from innovating in terms of products, in terms of driving numbers, um, sales numbers, profit numbers, we're also saying, how do we become that business model and how do we create a platform that every stakeholder wants to plug into and work with us because they know they will grow with us. It's